Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony, and today I'm going to be doing a cruelty-free mail haul and unboxing. A lot of you guys really like these. I personally really like these because it's a really good way to show you guys what I'm getting in the mail, whether it's stuff that I've ordered or stuff that I've been sent, and to get feedback from you on what you most want to see in upcoming videos or hear more about on Instagram or on my website, logicalharmony.net. So let's just get right into it. Here's a twofer. Oh, two packages from Derma E. So all the brands in this video are obviously cruelty free and Derma E is also completely vegan, which is really awesome. So it looks like this is the Whole Foods favorite box that Sunkiss Alba curated with Derma E. That's really awesome. So I'm not sure what else is in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, but it's apparently all stuff you can get at Whole Foods, which is a really great source for cruelty free and vegan beauty. So obviously we have a Derma E. This is the Radiant Glow Facial Oil, which it says is jojoba, argan, and sea buckthorn oils. I've never tried this before, but I have used sea buckthorn oil before on my skin and it worked really well. And I just think Derma E makes really good skin oils too. Got some hair ties. I have some of these already and I use them. From Juice Beauty, ooh, it's a sheer lip gloss in the shade Bikini. Oh, that's a pretty nude. I like that. And I've actually never used any of the makeup from Juice Beauty before. I don't know if I've ever really used anything from Juice Beauty. So that will be cool to try. We have an Eco Tools dry brush. I actually own this exact one, but I really like it. So I might hang on to this as a replacement. This is a Mineral Fusion nail polish. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like a really dark cherry burgundy. It's called Garnet. That's perfect for winter. There's so much stuff in here. So a little tiny charcoal. Scrub Derma E headband, which I already have one of these from them too. I really like it. It's comfortable. A little tiny cleansing oil. I love little travel size things. I wish this had something to cover the top. I feel like there should be a cover for that, right? This is a good cleansing oil. And ooh, Pacifica Waikiki Pikaki. I don't know how you say that second word. This is like a tropical scent though. Ooh. It smells very beachy, very oceany. I feel like there are certain scents that are just oceany. I don't know. Derma E box number two. So in this box is their purifying two-in-one charcoal mask and then their purifying gel cleanser with activated charcoal. These are a little bit harsh for my skin, so I'll probably give them away to a friend or something, but I just think these are really great. I've heard that if you have oily skin that these two are amazing. I do use the mask actually as a spot treatment from time to time, but because that's all I can use it for, I just don't really go through it very quickly. Uh, but thank you so, so much to Derma E. I really appreciate it. So it looks like these are from two different collections and it's in one box. So this is their massaging facial cleanser. So it says it has vibrations that cleanse and exfoliate for a smooth, radiant looking complexion. Oh, crazy. So this is really similar to the ones that Foreo makes, obviously at a lower price point. I'm gonna test this out, but it has both sides just like the Foreo ones do. Ooh, I'm very, very intrigued by this. I can't wait to try that one out. We also have some stuff from their new Active line, which I'm really excited about because I've actually, I almost ordered a bunch of it because I was really curious what it would be like. So these are their post-workout cleansing body wipes. Very interesting. I wonder what the difference is between these and the ingredients like in their makeup removing wipes. It says you can use them to remove makeup or cool down after a workout to cleanse and refresh. So I'm curious, I'm gonna look into that. This is their workout ready lip and cheek palette. Let's open this one up. And this is in the shade Gym Chic. That's cute. That's really cute. So this looks like similar packaging to, I think like their color correcting concealers and their concealer quads come in this, but it's black. Those are cute shades. These are pretty sheer, but the formula feels nice. And I see how for the gym, you'd probably want kind of sheer colors. Okay, this is their sweat resistant mascara and brow duo. So it says one end is a long lasting waterproof mascara that won't smear or smudge. And the other is a clear sweat resistant gel to comb and feather brows in place. That's pretty cool. I'm really curious if it's actually smudge proof, so. I'll probably put that to the test. This is their workout ready hydration stick. You just twist up the stick and put it onto your skin for moisturizing. Um, it does say you can use it on like your face or like your elbows or your hands. So that's good to know. Ooh, that's very perfumey. It smells like soap, but like perfumey soap, but I like that it's clear. Let's see how that feels. Ooh, that feels cooling. It's very gel-like. 
I, I don't know how moisturizing it feels really. And this is their post-workout cool down mist, which it says nourishes skin and re with replenishing ingredients and helps cool down. You can use it to set makeup or throughout the day. Ooh, I like this packaging. I really like the packaging of this line. Let's spray some of this on, see how it feels. That does feel good. It smells like degree deodorant or something. Yeah, it smells like sport deodorant. That feels good on the skin. So I'm definitely excited to give this stuff a try. If you guys have picked any of this stuff up, let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much, Elf. All right, this is my order from Hum. I get their products on a monthly subscription. So in here is a sample pack of the Ginger Snap Infusion Superfood Powder. I love their greens powder. I think it's really good. I like the um, Tahitian vanilla and berry one the best, but they always do a seasonal flavor. So I'm really, really intrigued by ginger snap. I'm glad I get to try it out this little way because I really wasn't sure if I would like it or not. So I haven't ordered it yet. So this month I got a bottle of Turn Back Time, which is, El it's like an age defying one. So I kind of order different stuff every month because I like to have it, I kind of stockpile it essentially because I take so many different things from Hum. Basically everything from them that is vegan will say vegan, like vegetarian slash vegan. That's how you know if it's vegan or not. Um, so I take a bunch of different stuff from them. So I kind of vary my order month to month depending on what I need. So this is an age defying one, which I have noticed since I started taking this, my skin does seem to just be more like a little more balanced. I don't know, it just seems to respond better. So I've been wanting to keep up with this one. I got Killer Nails, which is a vegan biotin. If you guys don't know, you usually see me with like my Madame Glam Builder Gel nails on, but I am like a chronic nail biter and so I'm always looking for ways to make my nails healthier. Biotin's also really good for your hair as well and I've heard it's also good for your skin, but I just appreciate that they make a vegan biotin that's so easy to get. And then I also ordered some Big Chill, which is like an herbal anti-stress supplement. I don't take this one that often, but I like to have it on hand just when things come up and sometimes Justin takes it too. So I know a lot of you guys have ordered Hum after hearing me talk about it. So leave a comment below and let me know what you get from them if you are subscribed, because I'm just curious. I'm curious what you guys love. This one I'm really excited about because it's not for me. Um, if you guys know, if you've seen some of our like life update videos lately, we do live in Sonoma County and there have been the fires there. A lot of people were really impacted and Kaya Naturals, which is an amazing cruelty-free company, sent over a ton of mini deodorants for us to donate to those who are in need. I just think it's amazing that they sent these over. It's just amazing that they wanted to help. There are so many in here. So thank you so much to Kaya Naturals. We'll definitely make sure these end up in the hands of those that need them. And thank you so much for thinking of those in need. Oh, this is my monthly Misto box. This is a coffee subscription service that I've signed up for. I saw them on Shark Tank. It's really cool. They basically, they get your flavor profile and figure out what flavors you like. And then every month or on whatever schedule you want, you get sent a bag of coffee they pick for you. And they work with small roasters like all over the country. So it's a really cool way to try different coffees you would never try otherwise. So this one is from Ladro Roasting, which is in Seattle. And this is their Queen Anne Medium Roast. It's named for their first cafe. So that has notes of clementine, fig, and hazelnut. I'm excited to try this out. I just love trying different coffee. And speaking of coffee, I also got my monthly subscription from Timeless Coffee. I I needed to open this when it arrived because I was out and I love Timeless. I love Timeless so much. They're a coffee roaster in Oakland, California. They have two locations now. And if you're local to the Bay Area or if you're traveling to the Bay Area, definitely go there. They have tons of vegan pastries. They have like donuts, the cherry danishes. Those are my favorite. They have savory things, just everything super tasty and all their foods vegan, which is amazing. But I love their coffee so much. So I get it on a subscription and every month I get a bag and just like the best freaking coffee. So if you like coffee, you need to go to Timeless's website and order this because it's that freaking good. Ooh, their bear claws are super good too. I love CoverFX so much. You guys know that. CoverFX is hands down one of my favorite brands. This is their brand new perfect highlighting palette, which I almost ordered the other week. I am really excited. Dang, this is freaking pretty. 
that's really pretty. Let's see what this looks like. I'm trying not to blind you guys while doing this. All right, so it has six powder highlight shades in it. These look really, really nice. Let me. Ooh, that is nice. That picks up, like the payoff on these is really good too. I am really, really excited about this. I mean, I just freaking love cover FX. I've never like had a product of theirs not work out for me, so I cannot wait to use this. If you guys wanna see this in a video, comment, let me know. I cannot wait to try this. Thank you so, so much, cover FX. Mm, this one's from NCLA and it looks adorable. <laughs> Last year around the holidays, they came out with their cuticle oil and pumpkin spice. And this is their new holiday shade, Thin Mint. If you've not tried their pumpkin spice one, by the way, it's, it's phenomenal. I feel bad ruining this amazing presentation, but I need to smell this dang cuticle oil. Oh, this is so cute. I love this presentation, that's adorable. And I love that this bottle is decorated like it's a little sweater. That's really, really cute. So their cuticle oil is super nourishing. I really, really enjoy it. I use it all the time. Can't wait to smell this. Are you guys kidding me? It smells so good. Have you smelled this? That literally smells exactly like a thin mint. Like it has the chocolate, it has the mint. Oh my God. It has that like bready smell of a cookie. It smells so good. Dude, NCLA, you can do no wrong. It smells so good. Thank you so much, NCLA. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, this is from Lime Crime. And I think they just launched an Ulta, which is pretty awesome for them. Yeah, so they just launched October 29th at Ulta which is really cool. It is amazing to see a fully cruelty-free and vegan brand in Ulta. There are a handful of them. I just think it's amazing to see more. So these are a couple of their Diamond Crushers lip glosses. I don't know if I'll ever wear this green, but this one looks really pretty. What shade is this? Over the rainbow. So these smell like strawberry, which is the main thing I had heard about them is that they smell like strawberry candy. That's pretty. So it's like a peachy kind of metallic, but then it has rainbow glitter in it. These are so much fun. Another one, this is in the shade Unicorn Queen. Let's watch this one. That, that is some bold, that's some bold lip gloss. It totally smells like strawberry candy. All right, let's go ahead and swatch that green one, which is Meadow like serpent green. So these are really cool. I could see these being a really cool lip topper too. And they do have their velveteens and metallic finishes as well. I'm not really sure what the difference is formula wise between the two, other than these are just super glittery versus like a metallic. Ooh, is this one of their highlight palettes? I think it is. So this is their unicorns highlight palette. What? This, I think this is brand, brand new. This packaging though, dang. If you like holographic stuff, I think you're gonna really like this. So it has three shades, Happy Land, Frolic, and Daydreamin'. Let's swatch these. What? That's crazy. So I don't know how well you guys can see that, but that is like straight up hologram highlight. All right, I am definitely intrigued by this. Thank you so much, Lime Crime. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's new Franklin and Whitman. So Franklin and Whitman is such an amazing company. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, they're cruelty-free, they're vegan, and they donate a portion of their sales to dog charities, which is a cause near and dear to a lot of people. This is their new body serum in Mount Airy, which it says is lavender, vanilla, and bergamot. I have to open this. I love bergamot. I'm like a huge Earl Grey tea with bergamot fan. It smells so good. I really like this. This is gonna be so soothing, especially to like put on before bed. So I'm really, really excited about this. If you guys are into Franklin and Whitman, comment and let me know your favorite product. I I just, I love their stuff so much. So thank you so much, Franklin and Whitman. I really, really appreciate it. All right, so this is from 100% Pure, which I'm excited because I hope it's some of their new stuff. Oh, it totally is. So they just came out with some new skincare as well as new shades of I believe it's the matte lipstick and the lip caramels, which I love both of those. This is their new Hydra Drench Cream, which it looks like it has like rose water and chia seed oil, coconut oil, a few different other things. I like this new packaging. This is very chic and this is vegan. I believe all of their new skincare is vegan, but they're also really helpful in that they always mark it on the product page and it will say on the packaging as well. That feels really nice. That feels really like, it didn't feel thick in the tube or when it applied 
applied, but rubbing it into my skin, it just feels really luxurious and really, really nice. So I cannot wait to give this a try. And then they sent two of the new Cocoa Butter Matte Lipstick Shades. They sent Cacti and Cassia, which look like really pretty darker nudes. And then in the Fruit Pigmented Pomegranate Oil Lipstick, which is more of like a satiny finish, they sent Buttercup and Clover, which also look really pretty. So I don't know if you guys are interested, but if you wanna see a swatch video of some of my 100% Pure Lipsticks, let me know. These shades look really nice though. I'm gonna open these matte ones because I love that formula so much. Ooh, so I liked Sandstone before. This looks like a darker version of Sandstone which is really pretty. Let me see cacti. That's also really pretty. So if you guys aren't familiar with 100% Pure, they use fruit pigments for all of their shades, which is amazing. And that even allows them to get like red shades and things that a lot of other companies that aren't vegan would use beetles for or like some nasty chemicals. So I think that's pretty amazing that they make such different shades. I love that they've added more shades to the cocoa butter range. I love that lipstick line. It is like a matte finish, but it's very nourishing. So I really, really like it. I can't wait to try these out. Thank you so much, 100% Pure. Thank you so much for joining me for mail time today. I'll see you guys next time.